I am a Connecticut youth football coach. Been coaching about 19 years. I'm volunteering my time for uh, youth uh, kids, uh, being raised by single parent homes and grandparents um, from our community. I'm a role model and a mentor, and I take it very seriously. Um, never had a fight, never had an altercation, never put my hands on anybody. No one's ever put their hands on me until I met Mr. Wright. When did you meet him? Um, we played in an off-season 707 Flag League uh, in June of uh, 2016. Okay. We played them uh, the first time. What was his role? He's a football coach as well. On the opposition? Yes, sir. Okay. Yep. He's a football coach. You all him. met June 16th? Uh, we met prior to that in when? June. It was, in June, though? It was prior to the incident, though. In June? Weeks. Yes, sir. Okay. A few weeks before the incident, we met. What were you all doing at that time? We were opposing teams. Him? All right. And when you met him the first time, because obviously the, something happened on the second one, how did things go then? On the first occasion, um, Mr. Wright was very vulgar, inappropriate, That's not obnoxious, true. loud, bullying, and his team won that game, and they were cheating. Uh, there were four other cities that were there, and they all noted that this program was cheating. <laughs> we didn't. We went away quietly, no fuss, no That's much. That's not true. And at this second meeting, which is the date of the incident, all the head coaches came together to discuss the rules and make sure that they were going to be followed this game because every program complained about him. He has That's a not true. He has a reputation <laughs> oh. around that league and in the regular season youth league as yeah. being very, very vulgar, obnoxious, and bullying and, intimi and intimidating. Okay. Let me just say, I appreciate your presentation. I'm impressed with your presentation. I'm impressed that you're helping young people develop their lives, and I'm impressed with your demeanor as a coach, and I would certainly uh, have my kids on the yeah. On the other hand, all this snickering and talking under your breath that you're doing over here, I wouldn't want my kids near you on a football team.